My name is Chindi Oche. I'm a child of God and a musician, husband and father of two fine boys. Gospel music. It's actually about my values and value systems, you know. It's more about my values and value systems. I'm someone who won't, I'm someone who will only sing what he believes in. I sing only what I believe in. And I personally have been touched, have been blessed, I've been changed, you know, transformed. I'm still being transformed by Jesus Christ. And so I will definitely sing about Jesus Christ. I will definitely sing about what he's done for me. I will sing about life and how he has impacted everything. So that's it for me. It's more about my values. It's more about my value systems. It's more about my own story. Professionally, since 2006, yeah, 2006, professionally, but I've somehow always been in touch since my first thought. I've learned a lot. I'm still learning a lot. You know, there's so much to learn. You, know, you can't finish it in a lifetime, but it's been it's, it's been worth it. Many lessons, you know, the ups, the downs, they just combine to make you, in God's hands, they combine to make you the beautiful person that you are and will become. Yeah. Apart from music, I do nothing else because music is very vast. You can't finish, it's very vast. There are many places, just in music alone, I just within the music, just within the music, I I'm in the education arm. I teach, you know, part time. I play instruments and so I also teach. I do lessons. Um, I write songs. I produce songs. I do jingles and commercials. You know, so I'm a recorded artist. You know, so music is wide. Honestly, I'm not sure I can do something else. Uh, I, I'd, uh, I started out with four songs, you know, then I did an album, first gospel album, that was 2011. Then uh, I've just done three singles and I'm recording more. I think in the next one, two months, we should have a new album. Okay, I have a lot of them. I mean, um, God makes his messengers. God spends time on his messengers. So you will have a lot of testimonies naturally. But I'm saying this for someone out there who has a call of God in his life. Someone out there who's also in this line, you know. Uh, I understand the kind of, um, I understand um, the situations of indecision and all that. And so I'm going to just tell my, give you one testimony to show you that God is faithful and to ask you to stay. Be patient, don't run, don't be in a hurry, don't sell out, don't take any shortcuts. Everything is working out together for your good. You know, I can't, I don't have enough time to say this, you know, but no matter how wise you are, no matter how wise your com the company you keep is, no matter how wise your family is, no matter how wise the entire world is, all of us still have um, limited knowledge. God knows you perfectly and he wrote your days every single day. He knows everything about you, you know, and he has a very lovely plan for you. No matter how good your plan is, it will never, it will never be one billion as fine as what God has for you. Now, as a small, as a, as a kid, I had visions of um, singing before large, awesome, mighty crowds. And, you know, in my own thinking, I checked it out, like, okay, you know, maybe this will happen. Maybe I'll grow with the music and all that, and it will happen. You know, see myself singing in, stadium, in sta um, stadiums and all that, full, full, full to the brim and all, you know. So, I, in my thinking, I, I was thinking that it would be like, maybe like when I'm 45 years, 50 years, maybe 55, I would have grown and all that. You see, but God took me by surprise at age 25. A full stadium. I stood there for 45 minutes singing. In all honesty, I wasn't the 
first best, second, third, fourth, fifth, tenth best. As a matter of fact, it was just not supposed to happen. You know, but I found myself in front of a very massive crowd. You know, a crowd so massive that you just close your eyes. I mean, because you can't believe it. That's what God can do. See me keeping it at 45 years, God brought it at 25. So just trust God. He has a very good plan. You know, and if God brought, just to add that, sorry, if God brought that, that thing that I saw, you know, that I was thinking that would happen at my age 50 or something, if God brought it at 25, then it means that He has so many more mighty things to do. I encourage you, you know, just be patient. God will work out His plan. We all have loads. And so, this one I remember. Um, very well. I had to sing a song in the choir, and the song was given to me because I, I was the I was I was the I was the only male singer who could sing that song at that um, high pitch, and so it was given to me. No contest. So on the final day, we get to um, on the final day, just like some minutes before singing, somebody gave me. One um, sweet. I won't mention. The, I won't mention the brand. Someone gave me one sweet, and I just took it, and I just, you know, I mean, there's nothing wrong with sweet. Time to sing. I opened my mouth, and dear Lord, my voice ran away. My voice left me. You know, my voice stood beside me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I closed my eyes so tight and wanted to disappear. If it was by the shutting of my eyes, I would have disappeared. You know, but. I just endured that moment and I prayed, I prayed then and somehow I still wish it would be deleted from my entire history. <laughs> God is good and his mercies endure forever. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous running and they are saved. It doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter how bad it is. I tell you, Jesus saves. Jesus says, Jesus says, you know, and God is going to touch you even as you watch this, um, listen to the songs, you, God is going to touch you, I'll meet you at the point of your need, you know, he's going to, if you open up to him, he will change your life, I'm telling you, he will change your life, only Jesus can do that, don't waste your time with anything else, don't use your lifetime to learn a lesson, only Jesus can do that, take it from me.